Hopefully you guys are all having a great week. Um, my name is Alex and I have Emmy here with me. We're so excited to talk to you guys about some really awesome pet products today. So um, with the help of Emmy, I'm gonna talk about, to you guys about some of her favorites, some that I use in my own home on Emmy. And um, I also have a cat, her name is Mindy. So um, all these products I use on um, both my pets. So i um, so excited to get started and talk to you guys about all, all of them today. Um, we will go ahead and get started and hopefully some people will jump in as we get started. Um, the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Bodhi Dog Pet Cologne, which I absolutely love. This is such a great product. Um, it's made in the USA, it's made with natural conditioners um, and it leaves your pet smelling really, really good. So all you have to do is spritz your pet down from head to tail and it leaves behind a really nice fragrance. It's not gonna weigh down your pet's coat or leave them wet or anything like that. Um, after you um, give your pet like a full wet groom or a bath, um, you can use the cologne as a finishing spray or you can use it as a refresh between bath times. So if you um, are in the habit of like leaving your pet um, uh, bathing schedule like you know a long time maybe several months in between um, this will help your pet feel a little refreshed in between um, baths this is Emmy hi thanks so much for joining um, she's little sweetheart she's right here <laughs> I'll move you over a little bit there we go hey Em so um, I love the colognes. They're just really, really great. Um, they're safe for all of your furry friends. Again, made in the USA. Um, there are so many different scents and fragrances that are perfect for um, you to kind of showcase your own personality, kind of figure out what works best um, with uh, your pets and your home and your family. Um, they are really, really great. So yes, definitely have to check these out. Um, the one that I have tagged below is baby powder. So if you have never tried a cologne before, I really like the baby powder because it's a really nice neutral smell. It's not too overpowering. Um, it just leaves your pet smelling really, really good um, for several days. Hello there, thanks so much for joining. Um, I um use this one on emmy so emmy's a very active dog she'll go outside she'll run around in the grass she'll roll around um we go on tons of outdoor around the neighborhood kind of things that starts with w <laughs> um and if i say the word she will jump up and run away so i'm giving you guys indication of what we're talking about but she's a very active dog she loves um going outside um chasing balls and all kinds of stuff so when i spritz her down with the cologne I can usually still smell it like around three days later um, it is long lasting I really can smell it yes exactly the W word <laughs> Um, I can really smell it for a good long while. I love that I don't need a lot to really refresh her. Um, so just depending on your dog, on your pet's activity level, if they're like an outdoor pet or an indoor pet, um, you may need more or less. But I always say um, you can start with like one or two spritzes and um, see how long that lasts for you and your family and your lifestyle. Um, and then kind of like build up if you need to or even dial back because this is so great. Again, it's not overpowering, but it is strong. It will linger in your pet's um, fur and on their skin. It's safe for hairless pets, pets with thick fur, curly fur, straight fur, short hair, long fur, anything in between. So really, really great. Um, for my cat specifically, because she's an indoor cat only, um, if I spray a cologne, one of the colognes on her, I can still smell it like close to a week later. So again, she's strictly an indoor um, cat only. She does not go outside. Um, I love the all the different scent options. Um, for all of them. I love the baby powder again because it's a nice like neutral smell. Um, really great. And yes, it does take the edge off of a smelly dog. If your pet is stinky, this is a great solution. If you just don't have time for a bath, a couple quick spritzes will refresh them until you do have time to give them like a full wet groom or a bath or whatever you need. So um, tons of different options with this. Um, there are 10 scents. Again, I have baby powder 
tagged below, but if you're interested in anything else, um, that same link will direct you to all of the different options. So we have pumpkin spice, which is going to be super in season in just a few short weeks. Such a fun one. It is very popular this time of year. Definitely check that one out. Um, for the holidays, which will be here before we know it, we have holiday cider, which is like a true apple cider and winter wonderland, which smells really, really good. It reminds me of like a pine fir, like a Christmas tree type smell. And it's a little more like woodsy, um, really nice if you like kind of those earthy, more um less like flowery smells but we have the flowery smells too we have lilac um we have blueberry all kinds of different options so lots of different scents you have to check them out i am so glad to hear that you love it that just makes my day um and we also have different size options available too so if you're a multi-pet household um this one here that i have is a four ounce again this will last you a long time because one or two spritzes is enough for your pet but if you have a lot of pets um, you may go through it more quickly so we do have eight ounce bottles and 17 ounce bottles available for several of the scents again made in the usa safe for all of your furry friends it's not going to weigh down your pet's coat it's not going to leave them um, feeling wet wet or sticky or anything like that um, spritz just very quickly on your pet and um, as soon as i run my hand through her coat, she doesn't feel wet. Um, it's, you know, she, she doesn't feel sticky. It feels completely dry and I can smell it already. I mean, again, that was just two spritzes. So um, I love that it really is long lasting. It's strong enough that you can smell it and it just makes your pet smell really, really good because with a cologne, uh, pet cuddles have never smelled so amazing so definitely check it out one of our favorites and if you have any like pet parents out there maybe that celebrate um their pet's birthdays or need a gift maybe they're like one of those people that it's so hard to buy gifts for this makes a great pet parent gift um so highly recommend those Okay, next is another favorite. Um, I absolutely love the bath brush. This is such a great product. Um, it is nice and flexible, gentle, fits on your hand. When you groom your pet, whether you're doing that wet or dry, um, use a bath brush to effectively de-shed your pet. Um, it'll spread the natural oils in your pet's skin through the rest of their coat, making it shiny and soft. Um, again, de-shedding tools so if your pet sheds a lot especially now as they're starting to like lose that thinner summer coat and they're starting to um, kind of pile in that thicker winter coat um, they are going to shed um, so this makes it really easy kind of helps them lose that thinner coat so you're making your pet more comfortable too um, again, very gentle, very flexible. These bristles, you can see they're very, very gentle, um, flexible. They um, make your pet uh, think that they're getting a massage. Again, it's very gentle, safe for sensitive skin too. Um, it's made with a very durable, unrefined rubber. Um, so you uh, can use it wet or dry, again, as a de-shed tool, or if you use it in a bath, um, it will really uh, lather up shampoo and conditioner really, really well. The long bristles, if you can see these here, um, do a really good job of getting through your pet's undercoat to penetrate down to the skin to provide a really, really deep clean. Um, and because it is so gentle, it's going to mold to your pet's body. They're going to uh, learn to love bath time um, with the help of a bath brush. Um, they come, our bath brushes come in so many colors as well. Um, I do have a two pack tagged below also in the pink, um, but we have a ton of different colors. So, um, we have red, orange, yellow, two shades of green, um, the dark blue and aqua, which is like a traditional, like Tiffany blue color, which is so pretty, um, purple, pink, black, 
um, and a super bougie silver glitter one, which is really, really fun. So you can really showcase your personality, kind of see what you prefer. Um, and again, one packs and two packs. So if you um, have like multiple pets or if you want to keep them in different areas of your home, for example, one you may want to keep in a bathroom or a shower, and then the other one you may want to keep in like a mud room or something like that. Um, the two pack is so great. It's only $13.99 for the two pack. The one pack is $11.99, so you're getting two brushes for only $2 more, which is a great deal. Um, I love this on um, my dog and my cat. This is safe for all of your furry friends. Again, very gentle. Does not tug your pet's fur at all, um, but lathers shampoo, desheds really effectively. Um, I love them. I use them all the time on Emmy. She has kind of like medium length, um, fur and she does kind of lose quite a bit of fur year round. Um, not nearly as much as like a husky or something like that, but she definitely drops quite a bit of fur. So I love brushing her regularly with the bath brush to um, really make sure that she's very comfortable when, um, you know, it's getting hot outside or cold outside, dropping her coat, whatever. Um, and on my cat, she is, um, she has very long, thin hair. Um, so when I use it on her, um, she will usually like roll over on her back and stick her legs in the air and start purring. She absolutely loves it. Um, it's a nice soothing experience for any pet um, and just does a really, really great job of getting your pet clean and um, comfortable um, whatever time of year it is. So definitely recommend checking those out. Again, we have so many fun colors. This one paired with the cologne, also super great gift. So if you are looking for something um, for a pet parent, I always highly recommend a bath brush and a cologne. That makes a perfect gift for your pet or any pet parent. Um, for holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, whatever. Um, maybe like your gotcha day for your pet. Um, really great for uh, for you, all those pet parents out there. Okay, next, um, I love this product too. Um, of course, d oral health, dental care, very, very important for all of our pets out there. And I know this isn't nearly as fun as like, you know, good smelling stuff and brushes, but it's still very important. So dental care is really important for your pet. Um, I love the um, pet dental gel toothpaste from Bodhi Dog because um, it's a really nice consistency. It's like a thicker gel um, and it works without brushing. So when I use this on my dog, um, I usually use it with a toothbrush, a pet tooth uh, toothbrush. Um, but when I first got started kind of introducing like oral care to Emmy, um, I would put, uh, put it on a chew toy and um, the action, like her chewing on the chew toy and the saliva um, activates the ingredients to break down the plaque and tartar on your, on your pet's teeth. Um, and it also helps freshen breath. So again, works without brushing. So if you have never done any kind of like dental routine with your pet before, um, the dental gel might be a great place to start because it's very, very easy. Um, for example, with my cat, I absolutely could never um, brush her teeth with a toothbrush. So what I do is I will put a little bit, and I'll demonstrate on Emmy here, but this is what I do essentially with Mindy. I will put a little bit on my finger, come here, and I will just get her to open up her mouth and put it on her tongue. And you can see she's licking quite a bit. She's kind of that, um, the dental gel is coating all the oral surfaces, her teeth, her gums. Because I put it on her tongue, um, the saliva, it's going to mix it all together and get throughout her entire mouth. And you can tell she's still licking, so it's doing its job. It's going to be really fresh and clean in your pet's mouth. And if you have never done any kind of like um, vet visit that required dental care, that can be so, so expensive. So preventative care is always the way to go. You wanna make sure that your pet will stay healthy and happy for a good long while. Um, Periodontal disease is also a very serious issue for pets. Um, if you have never um, 
talked with a vet about dental care, um, they usually recommend brushing or some kind of like oral care at least three times a week so that your pet has um, minimized risk for periodontal disease. Um, periodontal disease can um, foster bacteria in your pet's mouth, which can then spread to other areas of your pet's body, such as the liver, stomach, um, and heart and that can cause some serious issues down the road. So the dental gel, again, works without brushing. Um, it cleans and whitens teeth and it freshens breath. Um, again, it works without brushing. All you have to do is get it in your pet's mouth. So you can use it with a chew toy. You can put it directly on their tongue. You can apply like to their gums themselves. Um, use with a toothbrush if you would like, um, but really, really effective at making sure your pet's teeth stay clean. Um, Emmy goes to the vet every single year. Um, the dentist or the vet always recommends um, that we use some kind of dental care. I always tell her we do a lot of uh, uh, regular cleaning with the dental gel toothpaste, and she always says her teeth look really good. So very exciting to hear that. Um, the dental gel is also made in the USA. Again, that nice thick consistency. So when you're putting it in your pet's mouth or on a toothbrush or anything like that, it won't fall off or glop or get onto the floor. Um, and again, this is an eight ounce bottle, so this will last you a really long time. So really great option. I highly recommend it. Um, it is safe for dogs and cats. Um, so either one, uh, if you have a dog or cat, definitely recommend checking out the dental gel. Okay, next we're gonna talk about the Paw Balm. Um, I love this during the summer and winter months because um, again, Emmy is a very active dog. Um, we won't say the W word, but we will say, when we go out on our jaunty treks around the neighborhood, um, our uh, neighborhood does not have sidewalk. So especially during the summer, um, we're walking on black asphalt um, and it can be very, very hot depending on the time of day, what time of year it is. Um, especially now, it's mid-August. I live in South Carolina. Um, it is very, very hot in the middle of the day. So I always try and take Emmy for walks. Oops, I said the word. <laughs> um, in the mornings and in the evenings. Um, to make sure that her paws don't come into contact with that super hot asphalt. Um, so if you um, have ever experienced that hot asphalt, you know how hot it is. That can be very, very damaging to your pet's paws. Um, so again, always recommend kind of early morning or late evening. Um, but if you can't, and even if you can, some of that residual heat from the day or the day before can kind of still linger on the asphalt. It can still be hot. Um, your pet can experience dryness, cracks, all kinds of stuff. The paw balm will help heal those, that dryness, those cracks, any kind of irritations they have on their paws. Um, Emmy's paws are pretty good. I use the paw balm on her pretty regularly. Um, I really love it because it's certified USDA organic, um, which means that it is also lick safe for all of your furry friends. Comes in a great little container that makes it so easy to apply. Um, all you have to do is put your pet's paw <laughs> directly in the container and kind of twist it around. You can apply and you can see she's kind of starting to lick a little bit around her paws. She's kind of interested in knowing what it tastes like. That is okay because it is certified organic, so it is lick safe. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just kind of gently rub in the balm to her paw pads. And I will do this on all four of her paw, or all four of her paws um, after walks. Um, I usually do it like after some type of exercise um, so that she is a little more tired. She's not gonna track it around on our sofas, rugs, floors, um, so that she doesn't leave little puppy paw prints all over the place. So you can see she's still licking. I'm just kind of giving her a little massage on her paw pads um, to make sure that she's nice and happy and comfortable and she is loving this. Again, lick safe, so it's totally okay. And she's giving me tons of kisses because I have it all over my hands. But really, really great product um, for any of your furry friends. Also safe for cats, um, anyone with toe beans. So really great product. 
Um, it's made with ingredients that kind of create like a protective shield around your pet's paws. So when they come into contact with that hot surface, um, it's not going to be quite as hot to them and also it um, heals that cr those cracks and dryness. It's like restoring, um, it's like providing a burst of moisture to your pet's paws. Um, this is also great during the winter months. So if you get a ton of snow or ice in your area, um, the paw balm is so great for that too because snow and ice and especially salt, which is used to treat snow and ice can be very, very harsh on your pet's paws. Um, or even if you like do uh, a ton of hikes or anything like that kind of on trails, um, stepping on stones and acorns and sticks can also cause some damage to pet paws. So the paw balm is great for all of those circumstances as well. Um, again, just gently massage into your um, dog, cat, furry friend's paws to heal and protect from damage. Again, it's certified organic, USDA right on the front, certified organic, and it's made in the USA. So I love this one, definitely recommend. Um, I also use it on Mindy sometimes. She is, as I mentioned, it's strictly an indoor cat, but she does get some like dryness with her paws. So I do use this on her as well. And I really, really like it. And again, lick safe. My cat will also lick like crazy. She loves it, um, but she also likes like kind of the massaging um, experience when I put it on her paws. So really great product. Okay, next is Emmy's favorite product. We're gonna talk about treats. <laughs> um, the ones that I have here are the um, salmon treats from Bodhi Dog. Um, they are made with super healthy ingredients, but your pet would never be able to tell because they think that it's delicious. Um, this is a pound and a quarter of treats, so this is gonna last you a really good long time. Um, there are like over 75, 80 treats in here. Um, so I love how long they last. This is the size that they are. You can kind of see they have like some ridges on them, which is so great because another great benefit is that uh, to these is they are firm yet breakable. So if you can see the ridges here, you can break very easily along those guidelines to make them into smaller pieces. So if you are, for example, potty training, if you're teaching your old dog new tricks or anything like that, you can feed them um, some smaller pieces. And because these are a healthier treat, you do not need to feel any mom guilt, dad guilt, anything like that. Um, and your pet will really, really love them. These are 100% grain free. There is no corn, grain, wheat, or soy. So if your dog has any kind of sensitivities to those ingredients, they are absolutely free of those. Um, they are made with real, wholesome, healthy ingredients. The salmon that I have here, the number one ingredient, the first ingredient in this product is real deboned salmon. Um, it also has um, sweet potatoes, um, apples, blueberries, and carrots, which are really healthy superfood ingredients for your dog. So again, easy to break into small pieces, which is so great. Um, all of Emmy's tricks that she knows, sit, lay down, turn around, kiss, um, roll over, shake, um, stay, whatever. Um, I taught her um, how to do all those with the jerky bites um, because she loves them so much. They are high reward. So um, if you are doing any kind of repetitive action, your pet will want to work hard so that they can earn the jerky bites because they are truly that tasty and delicious. Um, you can see she is paying mighty close attention to me because she really wants some more. So um, we love the jerky bites. They are also made in the USA. We also have another flavor ava available. The salmon is what I have below, but we also have a turkey. Um, so if you are interested in that one, you can click on that same listing and it'll take you to um, the page with both um, available. They are also safe for all dogs 
of um, all dogs, any age, any breed, um, including if your dog is pregnant or nursing, or even if you, um, if your pet is a puppy. Um, so they're really great for potty training, again, for teaching tricks, um, or even just for like, you know, rewards for good behavior. For example, if you're getting started with a dental care routine, um, I love using these to kind of entice Emmy to um, do a good job and behave. Um, this is what I did when I first started getting her used to um, brushing her teeth. I would set out a couple of pieces just right in front of me, brush her teeth, and then break up into really, really tiny pieces, the jerky bites, and give her, um, give her pieces every once in a while. So you're reinforcing that good behavior. She's staying next to me because she's interested. And um, the great thing about this is because they are firm yet breakable, they're not going to stick to your pet's teeth. Um, so it's not going to, you know, reverse anything that you're doing with your dental care, for example, if you are um, brushing your pet's teeth. So that's my big tip of the day for any kind of oral health care with your pet. Um, definitely recommend the Jerky Bites because they are so great. And again, Emmy absolutely loves them. And you can see just how many I was feeding her. All of that was only one treat. So, you know, she's very happy right now because she thinks she got like eight different treats. <laughs> but that was only one because again, you can break them into super small pieces. So they are really, really fabulous. Um, they are made in the USA. Again, this is a, a pound and a quarter of treats. So this is going to last you a really, really long time. Um, again, Emmy's favorite. I love these because they are made with healthy fruits, meats and vegetables, all real ingredients um, that are super healthy for your dog. Um, and they won't even know it's healthy. She thinks she's just being spoiled. So definitely recommend. Okay, last but not least, we've got to talk about pet wipes. Um, if your pet is stinky, smelly, anything like that, I know a couple people mentioned um, needing something to take the edge off of a smelly dog. Um, the pet wipes are really great. I have the mango here. These are deodorizing. So if your pet is smelly, if you need something with a little bit more oomph than the colognes, which we talked about at the beginning of our live stream, um, the pet wipes are a great option. Um, these, the mango ones are my favorite. I absolutely love them. They smell so good. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Um, Emmy just ran away. Come here, Em. <laughs> Come on. Okay, good girl. This is Emmy. Um, I do have a cat as well. Her name is Mindy. She's off hiding somewhere. Um, but uh, they are both so fun. Uh, they are my little babies. So thank you so much for asking. Um, anyway, back to the wipes. These are made in the USA. It is so rare to find a pet wipe that is made in the USA because most of them are made overseas. So this is like a true treasure to find. Um, they wipe away pet odor, dander, dandruff, um, drool, odor, any kinds of stuff that may like kind of linger in your pet's coat. Um, and they are made for sensitive skin. Hi, baby. Um, so they are safe for hairless pets, sensitive skin pets, anybody um, for all of your furry friends. Um, they are <laughs> safe to use on your pets from head to tail. So I love using the I love using the wipes to clean out Emmy's ears, actually. She's got these like super droopy kind of long ears. Um, and for some reason, she gets a ton of buildup um, kind of in her ears. And um, in order to make sure that she does not um, get ear infections or anything like that, I regularly clean them out with the pet wipes right here. Um, so they are safe to use um, in the ear, in the ears. Um, they're very gentle um, and they leave Emmy's, um, uh, her ears smell really, really good as well. We have um, a couple different options with the wipes. <laughs> um, I have the mango, of course, here below, but we also have a hypoallergenic unscented version, also made in the USA. If you click on the link below, you can uh, it'll take you to that option as well. 
Um, and those also safe for sensitive skin because they're hypoallergenic. Um, very, very, very gentle. And they're also made with super soothing ingredients. So if your pet has like irritations or sensitivities or anything like that with skin, maybe they have like itchy skin or allergies or anything like that, um, it will help calm uh, those things as well. We also have a 100% lavender wipe. Um, and that one is made, I believe, with um, organic lavender. Um, and the because they are 100% cotton, they're very, very gentle on your um, pet's fur and skin as well. And those are also hypoallergenic. So if you're not a fan of the mango, we do have other options. Definitely click in, check all the options out below. Again, I love that they're made in the USA. Um, and a groomed pet is a happy pet. So if you have, um, you know, a pet that loves to roll around in stinky stuff or has buildup in their ears like Emmy, or even if your cat that smells a little too stinky after using the litter box. There are so many different uses for the pet wipes. Um, another regular way that, um, like a, a pretty regular way that I use the wipes is after we come back from doing our jaunty treks around the neighborhood, a word that starts with W for all our pet parents out there. Um, I will wipe down Emmy's paws before she comes back inside so she's not tracking like dirt and mud and all kinds of stuff um, on my rugs and furniture and floors and all that kind of stuff. So um, love that too. Um, and even if your pet goes to like the dog park or plays outside or something like that, um, really great to just kind of give them a little refresh before they come in and start, you know, laying on your furniture and your bed or wherever else. So I love the wipes. They are definitely recommended. Again, I use these all the time on Emmy. Um, she may not like them, but I do. Um, you can also keep them um, in your car, a backpack, um, take them with you camping. So many great uses for them. Um, again, they're very gentle, safe for sensitive skin. Um, and the wipes too, the seal I will say is a fantastic because I have had several containers of these and they are moist down to the very last wipe. So when I am using these, I do not get a single dry wipe. They will stay wet down to the very last one, which I absolutely love. Um, they're also not like, here, I'll show you guys what they look like. Um, great little kind of dispenser, so you can easily rip it off from the rest of the pack. Um, here. And the seal, again, super great. You can kind of hear it snap, so it will stay moist. Okay. And the wipe is a really great size too, if I just like unfurl it here. Um, but this is really nice. They are a, a nice good size. So I can usually wipe down like one or two of Emmy's paws with this. She usually gets very, very dirty. Um, but nice, great size, perfect for ears, paws, bellies, booty, whatever. Um, and if you guys can hear that, they are nice and durable, they're thick, they will not rip when you are using these, so they will be um, so perfect for those pets that maybe need like a little extra cleanse. Um, if your puppy gets a hold of it, it can sustain those puppy teeth if they are like rolling around and all excited about getting cleaned, so really, really great option for all pet parents out there can fold it up um, and just really great like soft material. Um, I love them and they smell really, really good. So definitely recommend checking out the pet wipes as well. Okay, um, I think that is all I have. If anyone has any questions about anything we talked about, you can type them in the chat box as we wrap up. I'm gonna do like a quick overview um, as I finish up here. Come on in. Okay, stay down. Good girl. Okay, so we talked about the pet cologne, which is so great for giving your pet a little refresh between baths. If your pet is stinky, if you're not interested in the wipes, if you want something a little more fragrant maybe, or if you want to use it as a finishing spray, so after you like give your pet a wet groom, um, you can spritz your pet from head to tail with this, and it will leave your pet smelling mm, just fantastic, like they just left the day spa. 
Um, we have a ton of different scents available. I have the baby powder tag below, which is a nice neutral one, but we do have 10 other scents and three different sizes. So click in, check it all out. We have some really fun um, holiday scents. For example, pumpkin spice is going to be in season in just a couple of weeks. We do have a pumpkin spice cologne. It smells exactly like your favorite coffee drink, um, coffee shop drink. So if you love pumpkin spice, definitely check it out. We also have um, holiday cider, which smells like apple cider, like warm apple cider, and winter wonderland, which smells like a really good Christmas tree. So lots of holiday fragrances. We have some summer ones too, blueberry, orange sherbet, lilac, um, and some all around scents too. So go in, check them all out. Makes a great gift for any pet parent, um, along with the bath brush. So this is a must have for any pet parent. Again, very gentle, soft, fits on your finger, will mold to your pet's body. Um, the bristles are very gentle, so it stimulates a massage-like experience for your pet. They will love it. They will be soothed, happy, um, purring if you have a cat, or they will just kind of like lay on their back and stick their feet in the air. My dog and my cat do that when I brush them. Um, also does a great job lathering shampoo. We have um, tons of different colors, one packs and two packs. The two packs are only $2 more, which is a steal. So definitely check those out. And again, so many fun colors, red, orange, yellow, two shades of green, the navy, a fun aqua color, which is like a beautiful Tiffany blue, purple, pink, black, and a silver glitter one, which is like a great holiday one that's super bougie. So check those out as well. Um, next, we talked about the dental gel. Again, um, uh, periodontal disease is a serious issue for pets. You wanna keep your pet's mouth um, healthy, their gums and teeth clean, and their breath fresh. This helps do that. It works without brushing. All you have to do is get it in your pet's mouth, but you can also use it with a pet toothbrush. Um, made in the USA, nice and thick, so it's really easy to use um, when you get it in your pet's mouth. Um, they will start licking, and that action um, mixed with their saliva will coat all oral surfaces to break down plaque and tartar and freshen teeth. So really recommend this one, very, very important, even if it's not always as fun. Um, next, we talked about the Paw Balm. Again, so great for summer. That hot sidewalk asphalt can be so harmful on your pet's paws, especially this time of year when it's so hot outside. Um, and winter will be here before we know it, that harsh, um, snow and ice, as well as the salt that is used to treat those, um, can be very um, painful for your pet's paws. Um, or even if you like do trail runs, sticks, acorns, rocks, all that kind of stuff um, can uh, cause cracks and dryness. So this will not only heal those um, cracks, but it will also protect from any future damage. It is <clears throat> excuse me, USDA certified organic made with really great ingredients that are also lick safe. So if your pet really loves um, the taste and the smell of it, which I showed you a little bit earlier, and it was very interested, it is okay because it is certified organic lick safe. So it is okay for them to just kind of have a little sample um, after you use it. Um, when I do put it on her paws, I will just give her a little paw massage and Emmy is always very relaxed. She loves the experience. It's like a nice little pampering spa day. So great for all of your furry friends also not just for dogs cats uh rabbits um anyone with paw pads with those little toe beans that need some extra hydration um the paw bomb is a great option next we talked about emmy's favorite product i'm grabbing another one so you can see she perked up right away our jerky bites they are a great size i started to break up another one already i was feeding emmy like tons of pieces earlier but i had only fed her one and a third <laughs> jerky bite because these break into smaller pieces so easily they are healthy but your pet can't tell because they're that delicious um, again, they come with these little ridges that make it easy to break into smaller pieces. Um, 
You can use it to teach your pet all kinds of tricks, whether you are doing potty training, teaching them not to chew furniture, redirecting attention, or even teaching your dog, your old dog, new tricks such as like turn around, sit, roll over, spin, kiss, jump, whatever. Um, these are so great. And because they are healthy, no parent, mom guilt, dad guilt for you because um, you can feed them more than one because they are made with real wholesome ingredients. The salmon that I have here is grain free. It contains absolutely no corn, grain, wheat, or soy, and they're made with real um, free fruits, meats, and vegetables. So really great for your dog. And of course, last but not least, the wipes, which I love. They are a really great durable material. You can um, wipe down paws, um, clean out ears, um, give them a little deodorized refresh from head to tail for all of your furry friends. Um, they are made in the USA, which is truly rare for any kind of white product. Um, and they are also very, very gentle for sensitive skin. So that is all we have. I do not see any questions coming in. So hopefully I covered everything. If I did not, or you want to reach out with a specific question about you, your family, um, or if you um, have any other concerns, you can reach out to us on social. We are at The Bodhi Dog. Um, we are on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pitter, uh, Twitter and Pinterest. Um, so you can reach out to us on any of those platforms and we would be happy to help. Um, we have over a hundred pet products in our catalog. So if these were um, great picks, if you'd like to see more, you can always go to our storefront and check out tons of other options. And of course we do a lot of lives during the week between like six and eight. So make sure you follow us somewhere below the carousel. There should be a follow button. If you click that, you can be alerted to when we go live in the future. Thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful Tuesday afternoon. I hope you all got you guys all have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you again tomorrow.